Hey guys, this Walk Wednesday series is all about Chinese Unchopped, my first book, which covers the core techniques of Chinese cooking. So anything from steaming, stir frying, deep frying, braising, roasting, poaching, and double cooking, that's piecing together two or more of those core techniques. Let's get walking, I can't wait. This week, we're on the walk, we're steaming away with some steamed scallops with garlic and vermicelli. It's one of those dishes that is hugely popular in Cantonese cuisine in Hong Kong and you go to sort of seafood, not markets, but areas in Hong Kong. You know, Hong Kong's surrounded by sea and you get these huge seafood restaurants that have tanks of all different types of seafood and fish. You can pick out whatever you want. And scallops, you know, they're quite expensive. They'll go for quite a lot per scallop, but it's really easy to make at home. So I've got some ginger, garlic, spring onion. I'm just making up a dressing really. It's a chilly, spicy dressing that cuts through the scallops once they've been steamed. And that dressing's just gonna go straight into a bowl. We'll compile all the sauces in a second. A couple of cloves of garlic. I'm gonna finely chop this and put a little bit into the dressing, but also keep some to just top each scallop with. The steaming cooks it through, but it still has that sort of texture that garlic does have when it's still raw. So it takes out that sort of hot, raw garlic flavor. And this needs to be really finely chopped because that's gonna go straight over each scallop. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that for the dressing. And then the rest of that garlic, I'm gonna keep aside to top the scallops just before I cook them. A bit of ginger, and you can use a teaspoon to peel it, but it's quite a smooth bit, so that's an easy one to skin. And I want nice long matchsticks of ginger, so. That's all for your dressing. Then chilli, depending on how hot you want it. I've got one bird eye chilli here. I want it to cut through, but I won't, don't want it to sort of overpower. And then we're just gonna make up the sauce. So I've got my glass vermicelli here before I make that sauce up. And I'm just gonna soak that in hot water. It should take about two to three minutes that's gonna cook through again when I put them on the base of the scallop shells. So it's gonna be vermicelli, scallop, garlic, steam, and then drizzle of sauce over the top. The sauce, there's a few ingredients, but it's very simple. I've got some chill chow chili oil. And I do want a bit of that oil in there as well, but the paste is where all the flavor is. So about a teaspoon of the chili paste or the chill chow chili oil. A tablespoon of hoisin sauce. I don't want that to be the only flavour, but the hoisin sweetness would definitely sort of balance out and accentuate the sweetness of the scallop. A tablespoon of dark soy. Then I've got a couple of tablespoons of light soy. A teaspoon of sugar. And a teaspoon of sesame oil. Very, very simple. Just mix it all together. Make sure that sugar gets nicely dissolved. And it will taste good today, but if you made that yesterday, for today with the scallops, even better. And you don't just have to use this for scallops. Great over a little bit of fried rice, fried noodles. I'm going to top that with a good handful of coriander. Right, so my vermicelli, that's still soaking away. It needs probably another minute or so. Just give that a little stir through. Now, all I have to do is deal with my scallops. And you can get ready prepared scallops, no problems, but I've got full whole scallops here. I'm gonna show you how we 
So get into those and clean those. Um, you can also ask your fishmongers to do this for you. So we've got whole scallops with a shell on. It's important to have the shell, even if it's ready prepared, ask for the shell as well. And the quickest way to open scallops up is to take your knife and just press down with your thumb on the flat side. So down towards the inside edge of that flat part of the scallop. And then you just do long sort of sawing motions down into it and then just flip that open and you can see a nice clean cut into the scallop. I'll clean that in a second. Now the scallops you can see are really nice and fresh. I'm just going to show you how we clean this. So the sort of outer membrane, you just want to pull that round and out. And then you should usually be able to just grab the sort of dirt out of that. And I will wash this through with really nice cold water in a second. I'm going to leave the row on there. That's got a lot of flavour in the row and a great colour as well. So that's pretty much there apart from the washing. And you can see once you've cleaned them how beautiful and white this, the meat is, how bright and vibrant the row is. I'm just going to lift this off with a spoon. You've got to go quite heavy into it, just to really press into the shell side of it to lift that off. And that's so that I can get the vermicelli underneath. So now, it's just a compiling job. Some vermicelli. Place your fresh scallop over the top. And then a little dollop of fresh garlic and your scallops are ready to steam. From here on in, it is super easy. My scallop shells acting as a little bowl for each scallop straight into your steam basket and then on full steam straight over the top, six to eight minutes maximum. But if they're slightly small, I think these are sort of medium size, I'll stick to five or six minutes. So that's had five, six minutes. You can see, they just sort of bounce back at you once they're ready. And all you have to do from there is serve up. Good drizzle of your chili sauce. This is an awesome little starter that will impress any guest. One of those things you really want to just savour the moment. Mmm, so sweet. The noodles really soak up that flavour and the juices of the scallop as well. Let's get that row in there. I'm just going to keep eating this, finish this before I finish the video. Mmm. Guys. You can't taste it, but you can see how tasty this is. And if you like tasty food, you want to learn more about Asian cooking, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like, like, like. Tell all your friends.